Prices have increased in everything that we do. Inflation is being seen as a major issue in many industries, but what is, what is it doing to child care services? The Alabama Department of Human Services reports child care facility costs rose 17 percent following the pandemic. ABC 3340's Kyra Purvis joins us right now. And Kyra, you spoke with a local daycare facility. How have they been dealing with the high costs? Brenda, one daycare facility tells me they've been making small cost cuts to their budget during the past year, but they say if prices continue to rise like they are now, they might have to make some permanent changes. There's not one thing that we don't need that has not had a price increase. Between high costs of food, utility bills, and vehicle upkeep for field trips, Stepping Stone's Play School owner says she's having to make some challenging decisions. In childcare, you cannot cut staff because you have to have the staff members for required ratios. Leaving only one option. At some point, there's no, you have no other option other than to increase your rates. According to a study done by the Alabama Department of Human Services, child care facility costs rose 17 percent following the pandemic and are only continuing to rise. These two moms say they have seen slight increases in their daycare costs, but unenrolling is not an option. Like you really can't pick and choose. Um, so as far as daycare schedule goes, no, because if they don't go, you're still paying for it. With other price cuts having to be made daily, this mother says daycare is a necessity because it makes her child happy and her family feel secure. She's been going since she was uh, one years old and has gone ever since, and we absolutely love it. But it's, you know, you just have to learn how to adapt and work work around it to make it work for your situation. Others feeling completely different. One mom who did not want to be on camera tells me she is now relying on family for child care after her daycare costs rose $50. Hall says she has sat down with a number of parents with the same concerns. She tells them all the same thing. We will have an end to this at some point. And if we can just all dig our heels in and decide that we're going to do what's best for each child and for each family, then Somehow, <laughs> we will get through it. And Hall says those prices will raise gradually beginning in January, increasing weekly prices by only 5 to $10 so parents can continue keeping these services. Brenda.